Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this TypeScript video tutorial, we are going to learn a very important topic which is configuration of the TypeScript. So for that we need a file and we will learn that how we can make a file for the configuration and what kind of configuration we can do in this file and after that we will see uh, some example of the configuration all right we will make a configuration file and we will see that how we can change the configuration and how it's actually works so that you can feel that uh, uh, how it's working and you can just use it by yourself and you will feel a very confident so now let's start so first question is that what is the configuration file as it's the name showing that when we just want to make some configuration then we have to use the configuration file but now the question is what kind of configuration need the typescript so sometime we have a very large uh, or a very complex project so that we just want to define uh, some folder structure we just want to tell that uh, on which folder we will put the input file and where the output should be uh, generated then we will uh, we don't want to convert some uh, typescript file to the javascript file we just want to restrict them sometime we just want to change the uh, ecmascript converter like we just want to use the ecmascript 3 5 6 uh, 15 or next or 20 whatever just we want uh, we can also change this and some experimental features that are disabled by default in the typescript we can also enable them right so now let's see with the configuration file first of all that how we can make a configuration file for that let's we have to open that terminal and just write here typescript compiler minus minus or you can say that the hyphen hyphen in it and now you will see that there is a ts config.json file so this is a configuration file when you just open it you will see the so lots of configuration is here so around 60 configurations are already present here but most of the commented so uh, let's look out the some important configuration like targeted target means uh, for typescript to javascript what es model or ecmascript uh, version we need to uh, use for the conversion right so by default e, uh, ecmascript 5 is present here but we can use ecmascript 3 5 15 you can see, you can see that 16 17 and all there is a lots of uh, other version also available than module which what module we can use there is a common module is there we can use the amd system umd 15 20 and lots of there are also present all right so we can use the jsx if, if you want we can use the decorators decorators map and uh, some of them i will show you in the example but obviously i cannot show you all of them but some of them i will show you then output file output directory root directory are there if you just want to uh, open some experimental decorator sign on then we can just uncomment them all right and if you just want to some extra configuration then we can add here i will show you that how we can add the extra extra configuration also all right so first of all uh, let's suppose i have a file with the app.ts i just want to convert it in the js file so this is very simple and i hope you know that so we can just write here typescript compiler oh, sorry let's make a console dot one here and just write here app dot app file right and we can just write here typescript compiler and we can just put here simply uh, app dot ts and just hit it and now you can see that we got a output file here right so now i have a situation that my project uh, is very complex and I just want to make a two folder one for the input files and another for the output files. so I'm just going to make a two folder with the public this is my uh, output folder and another one is uh, SRC this is my input folder all right so I'm just going to make a file inside it uh, so let's move the app.ts file inside the SRC right so I just want to get this file as an output in the public folders. How can I get it? So let's try it. TypeScript compiler, src folder, and then app.ts. Whenever I'm just hitting it, you will find that the conversion is happening in the same folder, but we want in the public folder. So how I can do it? 
for that we need to okay so let's delete it for a moment we need uh, some configuration so just come back here and just write here two things uh, let's go on a root dir all right so let's show your root directory that means your input file or you can say that with where you will create the file so this is my src and where i want to output of this file so i can just simply write here output or public folder currently i make it a public folder all right that's great so now for the conversion i just have to write here type script compiler and it will automatically convert and it will automatically find this folder and you can see that now the output file is generated in the public folder that's great so now let's make one more file uh, let's say users.ts and make a console dot one like this uh, users file all right now let's convert it again and now you can see that again we got a file in the public folder that's great all right so we don't need to push the uh, files manually here so but still there is a problem right what i will show you so let's say i just make a file with the dummy dot js sorry dummy dot ts right and just write some code here console dot one dummy file and now i'm just going to delete the both of file from the public folder right so if i did not delete that's okay but i just want to show you from the scratch that's why right so now if i'm just going to convert it now you will see that there is a problem so public folder now have the dummy dot js file and again it have the source folder like this so this is not going to work properly because we don't want uh, dummy file on a root then uh, src folder inside the public so how can we just uh, save it all right so first of all let's delete it from here and this one for that let's say we just want to convert only the src folder files so we just want to ignore it all right so how we can ignore it so just come back in the typescript uh, file and after the configurations just write here includes and just write here src that simply means we have to convert only source folder files right otherwise the extra files we are not going to convert it because maybe there is a lots of folder and there is a lots of files so it can be just make a unstructured unstructured uh -huh, unstructured uh, project all right so now let's try again and that time it will not going to create a src folder in the public folder it will just uh, convert the app.ts and the user.ts so, so just write it tsc and now you can see that now we have the only two file for after the conversion all right that's great so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care